party and be wards of the state for the rest of their lives. And they're just the bait to bring in more. That's why this is all publicized. So you can put your kid on an airplane and fly them into a military base or put them on a bus and they get up there and just say, my name is Pepe Escobar. Your name could be Hobby Pachmed. I don't know. Your name could be Donald Schmidt. Doesn't matter. You can make up whatever name you want. John Doe. And baby, you get a voucher and your ship wherever you want. And then lo and behold, none of the kids in Dallas last week showed up for their deportation hearings. At the hearings, they were going to let them stay for five years, it's been announced. Three to five years. But no, they didn't even show up for that. <laughs> it's all a giant joke. If you're a Hispanic, fifth generation American, and you served in the military, and you have no criminal record, and your nine-year-old son or daughter goes across the street to play at the park with their friends, you're going to jail. If you're white, you're going to jail. If you're a citizen, you're going to jail. Your kids are gone. But if you're part of this other lawlessness and the collapse of the country, you're mm, a okay. And let me just tell those people that are coming up here, just so you know, those American jails are really cold. They were complaining about how cold they were. Yeah. Well, they complained the food isn't good enough. It's a lot better than what the troops get. I mean, I just can't. It's just, it's just the hypocrisy and the lawless evil of the government. I mean, in the past, this stuff didn't come out about corrupt governments. It was going on, but you didn't hear about it in the age of, you know, just newspapers because they could suppress it in a tyranny. They're doing it now out in the open and don't even care. <clears throat> I mean, I've been around so-called liberals that are so obsessed, quote, with children. I told this story. There was a UT professor one day when I was with friends at their house fishing at their boat dock and they share a boat dock with the neighbors. And this woman, this anthropology lady showed up. I'm not kidding with gypsies. And with the head guy that's like the most famous gypsy in the U.S., he's a UT professor, I forget, we gotta get him on the show. He, he'd been up at the house, they were having some event. And the woman wanted to prove in her political correctness I was bad. She goes, do you not like gypsies? And I went, I'm just fishing, hey, how you doing? She was somewhat of an attractive professor. And I'm sitting there talking to this lady, and I'm fishing, trying to catch cat. Well, I know there's a lot of diverse groups of gypsies. There's also the pikeys that are Irish gypsies, and I think it kind of is part of the culture that they're allowed to rob people. Uh, I mean, that that is admitted, but, I, I mean, I'm not against anybody, but I don't know, it's kind of like the Aztecs had a culture of cutting people's hearts out. I'm not against people from Mesoamerica. You know, the Druids, and I'm probably related to Druids, but they cut people's, you know, hearts out and stuff, and, I mean, you know... <laughs> And, of course, they're always freaked out that someone's actually intellectual and knows history. It's like, oh, well, I, yeah, well, just, you just don't give us any problems because, you know, they're gypsies and they're wonderful people. And I'm going, okay, all right, uh, we're going to go ride jet skis later. And then she looks at my son, who was about nine then. He has a birthmark on the side of his head, Rex. And she goes, did somebody hit you? Is some and she looked at me. And I didn't even give her the power she wanted. I knew what he would say. He goes, no, that's my birthmark. She goes, oh, I'm sorry. I was just checking to make sure you're all right. And she was looking at me. It's a power deal. These people are taking over. There's a lot of well-meaning liberals that mean well, really want to help kids and stuff. And there's social workers that help old people. I got family that are social workers and help old people. I got a family that work it you know, over the years and gave everything they had years ago. One guy came up with a patent, made a bunch of money, millions of dollars, gave it all to Salvation Army, worked for them for 40 years, you know. There are good people out there serving. They're good police officers. But I'm telling you, a lot of them are like cult members. Because I wasn't talking about gypsies. And I wasn't talking about, you know, all this stuff. And the gypsies, by the way, were digging in Lake Travis where the water was down to find arrowheads and stuff. So I actually went over and hung out with them and found an arrowhead with them. I actually... Not along with the gypsies, but the point is that it's just crazy, man. I, I, I just can't handle it anymore. Age of sexual consent is 12 in Mexico, I thought I would just add. That's why there's so much, quote, child rape going on. And, 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 and here's the deal. In 1845, if you were in Texas, the age of consent was 13. The truth is the Mexicans, if they come from rural areas, are like cavemen. And I don't mean that insultingly. I called, uh, we need to get him back on the show, Bundy. 
Cliven Bundy, I called him a caveman. Exactly the same, folks. I mean, you could take Clive and Bundy. That's why he's like, I like the Spanish coming up here. They want to work. Because, you know, I'm not making fun of them. That's how he is. Because they're wearing cowboy hats, blue jeans. It's basically the same people. Now, you try to go out to some Mormon community and marry a 13-year-old, you're going to go to jail for being a child molester. I personally am not attracted to that. I like you know, full-grown you know, women the whole nine yards. But the whole issue is this is going to be a major culture clash. Because all over the country, the illegals are trying to pick up your 12 and 13 year old daughters. And it's just a fact that in Mexico, that's what goes on. Now, granted, you get killed in Mexico going after a senorita who's not a senorita, whose parents don't have them out dating. But an unaccompanied girl in Italy or in Mexico, anywhere old world, is up for grabs, folks. So get ready for that. And that's not race, racism, that's sociology, that's anthropology, that's psychology, that's cultural facts. We'll be back with your phone calls straight ahead. Stay with us. Teenagers like me used to think our parents were just weird because they put their phones and computers inside those flimsy little fake leather cases. Then my folks both got a block at pocket. Mom knows it keeps her safe from the phone's radiation. Dad knows it keeps his information private. I like my Blocket Pocket because it blocks hacking and tracking. Awesome. BlocketPocket.com has other cool stuff too. Huh, guess my parents aren't so weird. Get your Blocket Pocket at BlocketPocket.com. We the people grow cotton, we fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit and carding to a private bank, having it led back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Ted Anderson, I'm placing a free silver dollar in a book that explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. This is Alex Jones for InfoWarsLife.com. The latest in preparedness is now here. An electrically stabilized colloidal silver solution that can be added to both your home cabinet and preparedness pack alike. Concentrated to 30 parts per million in what has been dubbed the Survival Silver Solution. The new InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver is the answer for you and your family. And it's entirely free of toxic artificial additives that are loaded into many products. The InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Silver is so powerful that it is constantly concentrated into a two ounce bottle and is not recommended for extended continual use. This is not a low grade formula. We are working with one of the top laboratory manufacturers in the United States to bring you the best form of colloidal silver using electrical processes within a base of deionized water. For your preparedness storage or your home kitchen, purchase your bottle of InfoWarsLife.com Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver today and find other amazing supplements at InfoWarsLife.com. Clean water at home, clean water at the office, clean water on the go. The Berkey Guy has a Berkey water filtration model for anywhere you are and one that fits any budget. Thousands of satisfied customers can't be wrong. For free shipping within the U.S., go to GoBerkey.com or call 877-886-3653. That's 877-886-3653. Helping thousands prepare since 2005, GoBerkey.com. Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to generate an endless supply of natural silver solutions, SilverLungs.com. You'll find no wild claims or pseudoscience, just a lifetime of nano-sized pure silver solutions. The Silver Lungs generator allows you to make your own, so stop paying for silver solutions. The unique lung delivery system targets respiratory infections where other silver solutions simply cannot reach. See the Silver Lungs generator and lung delivery system at SilverLungs.com. That's SilverLungs.com. correctness is so strong in the West that mainline feminists will not even criticize in any way sexual mutilation of millions of Muslim women, women not being allowed to drive, women not being allowed to show their faces. 
but they will tell women you don't want a manly man who's even strong. You want a metrosexual because a man with male features is anti-female. So you can't be a manly man, but it's okay for the radical Muslims to mutilate their newborn baby daughters. And it's racist and everything else. I'm closed-minded and because I'm giving a stereotypical Wahhabist critique. No, I'm not giving a stereotypical. It's a fact. And it shows how the system gets away with whatever they want, whenever they want, and use political correctness to neutralize everyone. And the people pushing political correctness are truly the authoritarians. I mean, everybody recognizes this is a political stunt, but it's worse than that because every vote they're taking like that means a vote they're not taking to actually help you. You know, when they had taken 50 votes to repeal the Affordable Care Act, that, that was time that could have been spent working constructively to help you on some things. That's right. You haven't gotten all your free goodies uh, because they've not been doing what I want. So I'm just doing it executively as a dictator. Let's go to Ray in New Jersey. Ray, thanks for calling. What are you uh, calling in about today? Uh, you know, it's a couple things, if I may. Um, I'm calling one about uh, concern about the fact that uh, the globalists just might be uh, blackmailing those in uh, authority in this country that are not part of that uh well there's no there's no if ands or buts i've i've interviewed at least five top nsa whistleblowers and they have all said that blackmail has been going on for decades and it's now peaked so so yes sir and it's come out in the british press that their nsa spies on people as well I'm actually talking not on an individual basis, but on a much broader basis, uh, where they, they would have no, no question whatsoever about putting an EMI, um, electromagnetic impulse, uh, over this country um, and, and doing a number on us. And some people could be concerned uh, about us actually getting hurt. Um, what do you think of that? Well, I uh, tend to agree with you that uh, there's a lot of different forms of blackmail going on. I mean, how do we get around this? That's my concern. I, I, I'm actually at a point, and I, I don't want to be a defeatist, and I was never a defeatist. I'm 63 years old. I have never, I've never been a defeatist, uh, yet I scratch my head on this and all that is going down, and, and it blows my mind. Uh, just this week, I contacted my governor on two separate occasions concerning the border crises, uh, asking very simple questions. How many have been brought into our uh, state and um, uh, what counties are they into? And our third question, what, what school systems are being are paying? By the way, they don't even uh, know. They just deploy them wherever they want to go. That's what's crazy about this is it undermines and discredits their entire police state, claiming that they keep a close eye on us uh, because they want to keep us safe. No, they, they see us as their property that's not behaving and can still vote, so they're bringing in new property to outvote us. It's a very simple equation. Yes, I agree with that. Uh, yet, uh, Governor uh, Bill Hassam from Tennessee, uh, he found out uh, how many were being put into his state by simple, simply going on the Health and Human Resources uh, website. And how many did they say? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't write that, that figure down. Yeah, um, it's got to be hundreds of thousands. We'll be right back. This is GCN, the Genesis Communications Radio Network. This is Alex Jones for InfoWarsLife.com. The latest in preparedness is now here. An electrically stabilized colloidal silver solution that can be added to both your home cabinet and preparedness pack alike. Concentrated to 30 parts per million in what has been dubbed the Survival Silver Solution. The new InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver is the answer for you and your family. And it's entirely free of toxic artificial additives that are loaded into many products. The InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Silver is so powerful that it is concentrated into a two ounce bottle and is not recommended for extended continual use. This is not a low grade formula. We are working with one of the top laboratory manufacturers in the United States to bring you the best form of colloidal silver using electrical processes within a base of deionized water for your preparedness storage or your home kitchen. Purchase your bottle of InfoWarsLife.com Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver today and find 
find other amazing supplements at InfoWarsLife.com. 